Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Could it be that Dylan Redwine is still alive? Is there any chance that his father has been vilified and imprisoned for the murder of his still living son? Is it possible that Dylan Redwine was tortured by outlaws in the Durango, Colorado area? If so, why? Would it have been simply for pleasure or possibly for some form of profit? Maybe a torture film? Could that be? Is it possible that the trauma of such an incident might have caused these awful memories to be erased from the mind of that child? Could it be that the recent stories in the Durango Herald regarding a young man named Cyrus Lewis have to do with a boy once named Dylan Redwine? I don't know the answer to these questions. I have some links for you to look at to see what you can figure out. These links are available on my WordPress website, Awakening with Planet Earth. So you can go there and find them and click on them. On Dylan Redwine, I read online that Dylan Redwine disappeared in the year 2012. Then I found an article in the Durango Herald about finding human remains thought to be those of Dylan Redwine. Then. I found an article also in the Durango Herald about Dylan Redwine's father being sentenced to prison for his murder. Now this next section is called Compare Their Ears. What do you think? I feel that ears are very unique and individual, almost as definitive as fingerprints. Here's the question. Do Dylan Redwine's ear and Cyrus Lewis's ear look the same to you. The first link on ears at my WordPress site is Dylan Redwine's ear, which I found in my life of crime.files.wordpress.com. You can look that one up. And then I found Cyrus Lewis's ear in the Durango Herald. And you can look that one up and, and compare the two. Could these be the same person? Or could it be that their ears are just very similar but not definitively identical? What do you think? The next section is called, Could Memories Be Surfacing About Earlier Trauma? I found a, vi a YouTube video in which Cyrus Lewis speaks of a dream about walking. You can look that up and see what he has to say about that at the very beginning of the video. Now, is there a chance that Cyrus Lewis might be remembering having had an ice pick injury to his lower spine to prevent his escape from outlaws as a child? I only ask because I heard the most awful astral stories back then when Dylan Redwine went missing. In the video that you can click on on my WordPress website, see the scar on Cyrus Lewis's neck? Would that be a new or an old injury, I wonder? Could it possibly be that the scar came from an attempt to slit his throat after some outlaws were done torturing him? Could it be that he doesn't completely remember such a thing or remember it at all and that in the dreamtime realm his memories begin to surface? The next section is called More Questions. You can see my entirely unsubstantiated astral intel on Dylan Redwine, which I overheard on the psychic plane quite some years ago by searching my blog, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com for the term Dylan Redwine. I thought back then that Dylan Redwine had been tortured and killed. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Dylan Redwine is alive. You be the judge. What do you think? Conclusion. You know, folks in the Wild West 
are world renowned for telling tall tales. If Dylan Redwine is alive and living a new and happier life with Don Lewis, why then this must be the grandest tall tale of all time. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. You know where my website is. Come and visit.